Good morning. Welcome to the playground. It's time. Ah, Happy New Year's Eve. It's almost over, guys. For those of you that are longing for 2020 to come to an end, <laughs> you're almost you're almost there. We've almost made it. <laughs> We're getting there. Midnight. We're just waiting for midnight, aren't we? And then we can start a whole nother year. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I'm still here. I'm grateful. I'm happy to be alive in 2020 for every second of it. And I'm not wishing it away. Not like a lot of people. I'm not wishing it away. I'm okay with 2020. It can last as long as it wants to. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Tell me who's here. <laughs> My glasses on. I refuse to put them on. So she's a very stubborn child. This, this person inside of me, Erica, I think I see you. Melanie Garner. Hey, Melanie. Melanie and Isabel. Nice to see you guys this morning. We're going back into a, um, discussion that we've been in many, many times today, and it's a really, really good one. So I hope that you guys are ready. Fasten your seatbelts. It's really good. Hi, hi, hi. Happy New Year. Thank you, John. Um, yeah, it'll be just a few more hours. Can you believe it? We, it was just yesterday <laughs> that really seriously, it was just yesterday that we were celebrating the new year coming into 2020 thinking, wow, 2020, it's going to be an awesome year. <laughs> Look what happened. It is an awesome year. We were right. We predicted, we predicted it just fine. It's been an awesome year. It's been interesting. It's definitely been an experience and that's what we're here for. <laughs> it's, as crazy as that sounds, we came to this planet to experience all of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we have experienced all of it this year. We've been gifted. So how are you guys this morning? <sighs> how are you? Breathing, centering. And okay, little ego. Come on in. Come on, little ego. Join me. Join my higher self. Let's have some fun today. I don't need my ego to go away. I just need it to line up. <laughs> line up, ego. And stand up straight. <laughs> Good morning, Sherry Layton Gatewood. How are you? How are you? I'm watching everyone gather. Good morning, Carol Ann. All my friends, thank you for joining me today. It's all about, and I titled it, Manifesting Your Most Beautiful Dreams, I think. <laughs> I always forget what I typed. Um, because I'm realizing I'm very blessed to be here. Yes, but we're so blessed. Life is such a blessing. I'm grateful every day, every breath, every time I get to fill my lungs, truly. Life just gets more and more and more and more beautiful when we spend all of our time in gratitude, doesn't it? Being thankful. We, we try not to focus on those things that aren't quite right. <laughs> we try not to focus on, on our difficulties and our pains and the suffering of the world. We try to focus on what we're trying to create. So today we're going to spend time trying to create that. Um, good morning, Christina. <laughs> Haven't seen you. Um, so here's... I really want to talk about this because it's it was a lesson given to me my, by my guides, um, and it's very very effective. And sometimes I forget to use it. And I've I've talked about it before, and we're going to talk about it again because they brought it up to me just as I sat down. They're like, "Do you remember?" And I'm like, "Yes, I do." Okay, we'll share. <laughs> so, <clears throat> how many of us have things in our lives that, <clears throat> if we place all of our focus on it, because we're such powerful. Um, creators and we place all of our focus on those things that we really don't want in our lives. We're like, oh, I've got this kid in my life that just fights with me nonstop, or I've got this relationship, or I've got my parents or whatever, or money, 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 <laughs> scarcity. Well, many of us have that scarcity thing going on. And instead of um, what we do is we're like, we focus on the lack. We focus on what we don't have. We, we don't have the relationship we want. We don't have so many people. If you do a reading, they're like, well, when am I going to meet my twin flame, my soulmate, all of that? <clears throat> am I on my path? What, you know, how should I handle this relationship? How should I do that? When am I going to win the lottery? You know, you get all of these things. And, and the truth is, when you ask your guides, when you truly ask your guides those questions, they're, they're going to turn it right back around to you. And they're going to say, I don't know. When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? It's not up to us. We're not the ones deciding when you meet your soulmate. We're not the ones deciding if you you should stay in a relationship. We're not the ones that are, are deciding whether or not you have an abundant life. You are the one. You are the one. You're the one that's laid out this plan for your life. You're the one that's carried old karma back through again. You're the one that has attachments. You're the one, <laughs> you're the one that chooses to focus all the time on what you don't have. And the way that the universe works is not what we think. The universe is not like sit there, you know, like... 
I am at your command. You just tell me what you want and I'll make sure that you get it. The universe says, how does it feel? <laughs> how are you feeling right now? How do you feel? It's all in how you feel, <laughs> truly. It's your energy that creates the life that you're living. It's your energy. It's not what you're saying. You can say anything. I can sit here and say, I'm going to go to the store today. I'm going to pick up a scratch-off ticket. I'm going to win a million dollars. But if my energy says, I really don't believe that's going to happen, then it's not going to happen. That's just a one little example. So if I spend all of my time looking at my lack, saying, well, you know, even though I've got all of this abundance in my world, but I'm focusing on what I don't have, then I'm calling in my energy puts out the focus to say, I want more of that. Please give me more lack. Please give me, you know, that's what we're saying. That's what we're saying. So because it's all about the energy. So let me give you a, the lesson that they gave me. We could spend all day talking about this. We've done it before and we'll probably continue. So for many of us, we can't even find a way to get ourselves out of scarcity mode for one thing. And I can be one of those people because I have been, I grew up so poor and I've had the rug pulled out from underneath me so many times that I just, a part of me, deep, deep, deep inside of me, there's something in me that has a very difficult time fully accepting abundance. There's always some resistance. It's always in that. It's that resistance. Where are you resisting? You may want it, but there's some resistance somewhere inside of you. And somewhere inside of me, there can be this resistance to hold back the river, to not let things flow as easily as they should. Whether I don't believe that I deserve it, whether in some past life I decided that being abundant was a, a bad thing, was not something that I wanted to experience, whether I felt like I had to pay back something, or whatever it is, there's something inside of me. And I don't know, I don't, it's sometimes, oftentimes we don't really know what it is that's creating that resistance. So it could be a false truth that somebody's taught you, that the church teaches us all the time, that money is the root of all evil. And then if you have if you, the, the rich man can't get into heaven, imagine that. They tell us that rich man can't get into heaven. Everybody crosses over. I'm sorry, but we all go. <laughs> Nobody gets held back from crossing back over and becoming their true selves. Everybody goes. So that's a false lie. It's very, very false. False lie? False. It's a falsity. Of course you can. Yes, money and abundance, or having money can, can bring about a lot of evil in the world. It has, but, but it's not the money itself. It's the heart of that person that's creating it, that, that is bringing about that evil. It's not the money. The money is just a, a, a side effect. It's just one of these symptoms to a disease. It's not the actual disease itself. So there's no reason why you can't have. So here's the hint. I'm going to get to it finally. What they did with me was they were like, okay, and this was a couple of years ago. <laughs> was it two years ago? It might even have been only one year ago. I'm laying there and I'm like, okay, why, you know, why do I struggle so much? And they're like, okay, what can you, what can you envision as abundance? Don't try to focus on the one thing that your psyche has a hard time with. If you can't, if you can't envision abundance or financial gains or whatever, if that's not something that you grew up knowing or understanding and you can't, can't fully see it happening, then you need to focus your energy on what you can see happening. So, and I know some of you have been with me long enough, you've done this before with me. So what I did was I went into a meditation. They guided me all the way through it. And I was standing there. We could do this together again if you'd like to. Instead of me telling you, we could just go into it. I'm going to show you how you can create abundance. And maybe it'll morph a little bit today. Maybe they'll morph it. But what I had to do was create a vision of something that I could see that was just so abundant and so beautiful. And, I, and, and the further I went into that meditation, the more I released the fears and those things that were holding me back. And, and by the time I got done with it, it was like, okay, I'm perfectly okay now. I'm perfectly okay. I've gotten myself out of that lower vibration. I'm no longer holding back abundance. I'm no longer holding myself in that holding pattern of, of <clears throat> fear. I released it. <clears throat> the, the whole thing now feels like it's morphing again because abundance, I really feel like we focus so much on bank accounts and dollars and cents all the time and, and we're evolving past the need for that. 
So, so what happens when I stop focusing on it? It's like it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. I always have what I need. I always have what I need. I always have, oftentimes in an abundance. I, I'm always cared for. I've never, I've always had a home. I've always had food on the table. Maybe I've had to work really hard in the past to make that happen, but I've always had my needs met. Always. Always. So, even before I knew what I was doing, <laughs> even back before I had any idea about energy and manifesting and things like that, I was already creating. I can look back at my life and I can already see very, very clearly the times when exactly what I needed or exactly what I felt I deserved is exactly what I received. It's like I was already putting out the signals. You can do the same thing. You are putting out the signals. You can sit there and you can say, but I didn't get this and I didn't get that. But you got exactly what you were asking for energetically. <laughs> Remember that. We don't need to, we don't, we can't play victim here. We can't play victim. We can't sit here and say, well, it's, you know, I asked for that and I never get it. <laughs> we do it all the time, don't we? That's not true. You asked, what were you asking for energetically? Whatever you ask for energetically, you always receive. The universe doesn't speak to us in words. It doesn't, it doesn't even, it's not, that's not how you communicate. Energy speaks in energy. So we have to speak in energy too. So we go into meditation so that we can pull all that beautiful energy inside of us, all around us, wrap ourselves up in that beautiful bubble. <laughs> that's why we go to these neat places every day. That's why we're going there, so that we can allow ourselves to go to that place where we just let it all go. <laughs> Take your finger. I, I remember one of the sessions I had with Paul and he was like, you're like little boy blue. <laughs> you're standing there. There is a dam that's about to just go over. It's just going to flow and you're just going to get, you know, it's absolutely going to just wipe every kind of lack out of your life. And yet you're standing there and there's one tiny hole and your fingers in it and you're holding it. And as soon as you pull your finger away from that hole, that wall is going to burst. It's going to break. And everything is just going to flow to you so easily. We all do that. Can you see yourself? <clears throat> You're, you've, you've found the one weak spot that's keeping your abundance back. And that's your resistance. And you're holding it back. And so, or it could be your relationships. It could be whatever it is that you're really, really trying to manifest. What are you really trying to manifest? We're all really good at manifesting some things. I'm really good at manifesting love. If I can manifest love in my life, if I can manifest uh, just all this beautiful, I mean, I look around me and I'm like, oh, gosh, look at everything that I've created. Look at everything I've created. And yet I can fall into this place of, but I didn't do that. <laughs> Our egos, that's the part of us. That's the finger that holds it all back. It's that we're going forward, going forward, going forward. We're seeing everything that we're doing. We're like, wow, look at everything. Look at how beautiful my life is. And then we go, that ego pops up and says, yeah, but, <laughs> but do you remember this? And we're like, oh gosh. And then we go back in that direction. Let me do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't let the ego pull you backwards. You are, you're going forward. You're going forward. You can't be like the boomerang. You can't let it pull you backwards again. Once you're moving forward, you're building up momentum. You're getting this this energy is just flowing and you're like going and you're going and it's right there within your reach. It's right there. You're so close. And then the ego brings up that thing and it's like we fall backwards. We're like, oh, there we go back there again. And now we got to start from back there and move our way back up. Do you guys ever play video games? I just saw myself doing that. When the kids, when they like them. My kids love them, of course. I, can, I don't have patience for them anymore. But when, when they were really young, the two oldest were really young, they got this Sega Genesis and it had these video games like Lion King, they're all kids games and Berenstain Bears and stuff like that, but they were all the same kind of thing. Toy Story, that was a fun one. It's always the same. You have to get yourself to the next checkpoint. Once you get to that checkpoint, you're okay. <laughs> you get whatever it is, you're okay and you can move. And then if you die or something happens, then you're only going to go back to that checkpoint. You won't go all the way back to the beginning again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I say you go back, you're not going to go all the way back. This is like one huge video game, truly. You're not going to go all the way back to the beginning, but you will, you will go back to a certain spot. You know, like as far back as that you're like, oh, let's stop. Wait, I stopped it. I, I don't want to go all the way back to the beginning. I, I, I got it. And never mind. I'm, I'm going to, okay, I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to rest. And then I'm going to go again. So 
that's their message for you today is that you're you're gonna be okay in this but it's a game stop taking life so seriously please stop taking life so seriously we're only here for a little while we're only gonna be here for a little while so for now just enjoy it relax try not to be so serious all the time try not to think that man when this is over it's all over or if if that happens i just don't you know I, I don't even know where i would begin again something like that because the worst things can happen sometimes we we don't always have control and yet they are the catalyst that that really shoots us forward it's like gone so allow life <laughs> don't try to control it so much Sometimes you can lay back and just allow it to take you where it's going to take you without fear. If you get sick, I, 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 there's a number of people and they're like, oh, I got cold symptoms. I got a fever. I'm sure that this is COVID. And then you start to let this fear get, get you. There's, there's so much fear. And when the fear gets you, it lowers your vibration. And in that lower vibration, that's where you're going to get sick. So it's all this, this whole game is all about your vibration and your energy. What are you trying to create? Make sure that you're creating from love and not fear. If if I get sick with something, if I got a little bit of, okay, I'm okay. I'm going to do some energy work. I know I'm okay. I believe that I can heal from this. I know that I'm going to be okay. I know that no matter what happens, I'm always okay. And you start building your way back up again. Oh, something financial happened. My car broke down or whatever. Oh, okay, don't let it pull you all the way back there again. Okay, stuff happens. We're still physical. It happens. Don't let it pull you all the way back to the beginning. Go, oh, okay, wait, shh. <laughs> Be still. Be still. I have such abundance in my life. It's okay. I know I've created such abundance in all these other areas. that Everything's always okay, no matter what happens. I'm always okay. And when I get myself in that place, people just show up. Something happens. People just, oh, can I help you fix that? Can I, can I help you with that? And then it's like, okay, now I'm moving forward again. Because my energy was right and I received. They're always your angels, your guides, earth angels. They're always there to help if you are in receiving mode. <laughs> I got, I did it too, didn't I? I got fully into. I feel like they really, there's a reason that we keep getting pulled into this talk of manifesting and, and, being, and being aware of what we're creating. Because we're creating the energy that's changing the earth right now. And we do not want this earth to say, stay in a place of scarcity, a place of fear, a place of hunger, a place that we don't want that. So you are here and you are powerful. It's not just you. Please know that, that when you, the way that you're managing your energy has a ripple effect across the planet. So it takes responsibility. Did you ever watch Spider-Man? The one big line in there I love so much was with great, with great power comes great responsibility. That's what it is. With great power comes great responsibility. We all have to be responsible for the energy that we're putting forth on the planet right now. It's very, very, very important to be aware of that. Yes, sometimes we're going to have something happen. It's going to pull us back a little bit, and that's okay. Forget you don't. Please don't feel guilt. Guilt only pulls you further back. But then stop for a little bit and say, oh, okay, we need, to, we need to be in stillness. We need to speak some affirmations. I love affirmations. Just start talking nice to yourself. Your ego is always listening. Your ego loves to be comforted. Just stop and say, oh no, ego, it's okay. It's okay, little ego. It's okay. Pull him up in your lap, her up in your lap and say, no, come here, baby. You know, let me tell you a story. <laughs> you, there's nothing, there's nothing going to hurt us. We're great. We're, we're always protected. We're always okay. We've always been okay. We'll always be okay. What would you tell your child if they suddenly got scared, something happened, and they're like, oh gosh, I'm so scared. You would pull them up, you'd love on them a little bit, and you'd say, no, it's okay. It's okay. Let me just tell you a story. Let me help you find some comfort. So you work with you. You take care of that little inner you that needs comfort when things get a little scary in the world. And we're going to do this together, and we're all going to be okay. I promise. You are so welcome, Julie Kiss. So welcome, Isabel, I knew somebody needed it. <laughs> That's how they always bring it back. That's how they always bring it through. Somebody will always show up that needs it. Johanna, I can't help being serious. I love my bouncing, <laughs> bubbling, bouncing, bubbling planets and filled with animals, filled with the flying pigs that bounce off the, <laughs> the moon. And they just go up there and they're just bouncing off the moon and they're bouncing off the Saturn and they're just bing, 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 bing. Exactly. Let's just have fun. 
Can we just go off into a little world and have some fun? Danette, good morning. Happy New Year's. Isabel, let's see. Yes, being is in a process like that, go, go flowing, beautiful, and then back again. Yeah, we just don't give up, okay? When you're playing games, when you're out, you know, you're, you're doing stuff with other people, and sometimes things get really kind of hairy, and you're like, oh, gosh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm going to definitely just don't give up. Get yourself back up. Dust yourself off. Get back up. Get, keep getting back up. I've been thrown off a few horses in my life. <laughs> One of them I flew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wasn't a good idea to get on that horse. I don't know why this just came up, but I'm going to tell you anyway. My sister was house sitting and she was taking care of their horses and this horse had not been saddled broken. <laughs> and I was probably about 15 or 16. I wasn't very smart. No, I was 14, probably 14, right around that. I wasn't very smart yet. And I loved horses. I've always loved horses. And she's like, he was very gentle. He was a very sweet horse. He'd let you brush him. He was a really nice horse, but he didn't know how to have anybody on his back at all. <clears throat> they never trained him that way. So she's like, well, I'm going to put a saddle on him. She was like, she was old enough to know better. She was four years older than me. So what if I was I must have been 13 or 14. She was like 17 years old. She should have known better. Well, she gets the saddle out and she puts it on the horse and he's just standing there. He's like, okay, I got the saddle on. It's all right. I'm okay right now. And she keeps brushing him and whatever. And, and I'm standing there and she goes, well, you know what? You're lighter than I am. Why don't you get up there? <laughs> and I'm like, sure. Why not? <laughs> so I get up there and I'm sitting there and I'm like, wow, this is cool. This horse is just letting me sit on his lap. It's fine. All's good. And then within a split second, like I didn't even have any warning at all. That horse just went bing, like it shot me through the air. <laughs> and I was just flying through the air and went boom. I don't know why they wanted, why they brought that story up right now, but I think it's because we're supposed to, the, the phrase, it's really funny. I don't know why that story is so funny to me, but I think it was the fact that I was flying. I got to fly for just a moment. I got to fly. I really flew high too. <laughs> anyway, Johnny started this in me. Um, if I only had wings, I would have been great. I could have just flown right to the moon, just like the flying pigs. It's, it's we got to keep getting back on the horse. I didn't get back on that horse, but we can't be afraid. I've ridden horses since then. I, it, it didn't stop me. I, I go horseback riding here at the mountains sometimes. That kind of hurts, but I still do it. I'm not afraid of horses. I still love horses. So life throws us sometimes life throws us for a big old loop and we fly and we get and we fall and it kind of hurts and yet we just got to keep getting back up we just keep getting back up brushing off the dirt and just saying okay let's do it again let's do it again that's what that's the kind of stuff we're made of we're tough we're tough and we're amazing and we're just going to keep on doing this until the day we decide to pass out of physical and back into energy and become everything again that's what we are we're amazing, amazing, amazing creatures we are. So keep on going. You're getting a big pat on the back today. Keep on going. Don't quit. Don't quit. Just keep on plugging along. It's going to be okay. If you can get yourself out of the looking ahead to a, the, a month down the line or six years down the line or a year or whatever, stop looking ahead. We're really being encouraged to live right now. Are you okay right now? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food on your table? You know, like... Is everything okay right now? And if everything's okay right now, then don't worry about tomorrow. Take care of right now. If it's okay right now, then you're fine. And right now, again, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And so the more you focus on, I, I can't take care of 10 years down the line. I really can't. <laughs> I've tried before. It fa I, I fell miserably because life happens. And the most perfectly laid out plans, life happens. We can't stop it from happening. So we can waste all kinds of energy trying to figure out how we're going to get through the next 20 years. And then tomorrow we might be gone. You know, we lose so much when all we do is sit there and worry about tomorrow. So today, today, today is New Year's Eve, 2020, our last day of the year. Enjoy it. Be grateful and thankful for every blessing in your life, for every person for the fact that you're still here breathing right now in this moment and then in the next moment and the moment after that. And, and I would love if anybody's going to make a resolution for 2021 to be in a moment, every moment for 2021, every moment. Oh, here's another one. Ah, oh, here's another one. Ah, oh, here's another one. Everything's okay right now. It's perfect. Because when you do that, that's how you manifest. 
It's not like, oh, I'm gonna, you can't fix anything if all I'm doing is doing it. You don't have to fix it. <laughs> That's the point. You don't have to fix it. It will fix itself if you leave it alone. It really does happen. So that's what I got. We can go into this meditation. I'm looking for my other clock. It's not there. 10, 10 is 10, 10. Let's do it, guys. Let's do a powerful meditation today. We are powerful beings. We're on this planet to raise the vibration. Wherever you are, you are an important part of this plan. You are perfectly placed exactly where you need to be. I need you right now, all of this team, all of you beautiful souls, to sit sit down or be comfortable wherever and envision roots coming out your feet and see yourself as a part of this planet for just a few moments. Right where you are, this planet needs us to lighten the vibration desperately. There's been so many curses. There's so much energy on this planet that needs to be lifted. We have heard it in so many ways. So many ways. When I sit here, I'm like, oh gosh. If you want to save the world, spend some time envisioning the world healed. Go outside and put your hands on the trees. Sit down on the earth. Walk barefoot on the beach. Teach your children to do the same thing. Love this earth as much as it loves you. It feels you. It hears you. That's what heals it. We are healers. So I want you to envision yourself right now wherever you are. I want you to see yourself stepping out. It's warm. <laughs> you don't have to freeze, but I want you to step out of your home. If you want to join me, I'm here in the mountains. It's very warm today. It's going to be close to 70. It's beautiful. Kids are walking around in shorts. <laughs> it was snow a few days ago, and now it's, it's turning into spring. It's so beautiful. So you can step out with me. I've got a little patio right outside my door. And then when you walk a little bit further over that patio with your bare feet, you just step in the grass and it's cool. It's a little damp and it feels cool under your feet. Can you see that? Can you feel it? It smells, it just, there's like a scent of a lingering fireplace out there. And the scent of wet wood. Trees are wet, a scent of wet leaves. Those leaves have fallen out in the woods and they, they smell so beautiful. It's just nature at its best. There's birds singing in the trees. Listen to the birds for just a moment. Can you hear them? Everywhere around me, there's these beautiful trees growing. They're creating the air, so the air is so fresh. And there's these ancient rocks right out here, right out behind me. There's one that's a big flat rock that's right at my side yard, underneath of what I call the umbrella tree. The tree just in the springtime, it umbrellas, and then there's somewhere in it. It's kind of a beautiful little hiding place. And that old ancient rock just sits there flat, just waiting for me to come sit down and meditate. There's a few places like that here where you can just find your place. I want you to feel this earth for a moment underneath you. And all of the beautiful abundance that's all around us. And I want you to release anything. Open up your shoulders. Just kind of relax. Let yourself completely relax for a few minutes with me. As you sit there, don't think. Don't think. Just look around. Leaves don't have, the leaves aren't on the trees right now. There's pine trees that are green. You can look at those. The leaves are just waiting. It's not that they're gone. There's beautiful leaves hiding in the trees. They're waiting to pop out. These trees get a time of rest, that's all. They're just resting. If you put your hands on them, you can feel them just peacefully sleeping, taking a break from all the work they've been doing. Encouraging you to rest. Encouraging you to be easy today. And take a big breath. Pull that energy from the earth. There's so much. There's an abundance of earth energy underneath me right now. 
pull it all the way up from your feet from the base of your spine all the way up let it go through every cell of your body every single chakra you don't even know how many you've got I don't think any of any of us could ever count all the chakras in our bodies we just keep on our DNA keeps advancing and we just keep getting more and more and more energy centers it's amazing so we're going to pull this earth energy up and let it just connect the dots within us filling up all of those energy centers take a big breath nice allow yourself to feel centered and grounded before we start we want to feel centered and grounded all of that love energy coming all the way up feels so good i find sometimes it's beneficial to just tell myself ground and my body says okay we can do that center okay we got that a beautiful way to to meditate if you're going to work on this yourself is to go out and instead of counting instead of allowing all of your senses to take you and get you all confused say listen just listen for a moment hear the sounds all around you close your eyes hear your breath can you hear yourself breathing just concentrate on your breathing for a moment just listen sounds kind of like the ocean just listen to yourself breathe Nice, huh? That easy. It's not hard. It's not hard to center. It's not hard to do this. You know it. You've known it <clears throat> long before you were ever born. You came with a skill to meditate. You just forgot. Just breathe. And then for a moment, you can see yourself opening your eyes. Say, see. And just see. See some blue skies and white clouds. What do you see? I see trees. The trees, the branches look like they're just reaching. They're just reaching out like they see them in the winter. You can actually see the shapes of the trees in the winter time. They look so alive. You can see how they've been reaching for the sky, reaching for the light ever since they began. All they do, all trees do is reach towards the light. Isn't that amazing to think about? Keep breathing. Be easy. This is too serious. It's too serious, isn't it, John? I can tell. So let's let's take a little bit of vacation now that we're all centered and grounded and easy. I can feel your energy. You all feel so good right now. Don't you feel good? So this is the playground. Let's have some fun. So I want you to envision your favorite color. It's got to be a bright color. Make it as bright and vibrant as you like. You can even make it neon. And I want you to, to envision yourself being encapsulated by it in a big bubble. This is a bubble of your making. You take a big breath and pop it right out. And it's whatever bright, beautiful color you want to be. Just like a gumball. Take a big breath. Imagine, imagine that we're all like bouncy balls. We're inside of these bubbles that we just created and they have a very bouncy surface and we just want to bounce all over the earth. We're just going to bounce everywhere and everywhere that we touch down, our energy leaves a footprint, a love footprint. So we want to bounce a lot. This world needs a lot of help. So I want you to just kind of see yourself being dropped onto a, onto like a, a surface that's like concrete you know how bouncy balls they love to bounce on that kind of thing so so there's a giant hand and it picks you up and it just gives you a boing start boinging see where you want to go i want to hear where are you going to go 
You can bounce all the way to the moon if you want to, and the moon will bounce you right back like a big old pinball machine. Wherever you go, you're just getting bounced all over the place. And you're not going to do any damage, I promise. You're an energy bouncy ball. All you're doing is creating this beautiful energy on the planet. You won't hurt it, I promise. So just keep bouncing. I want to bounce over to the pyramids. I think that sounds like fun. I bounce over to one pyramid and it boings me over to another. And it boings me over to another. And I'm just bing, 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 bing. Here's a pinball machine. It's fun. And then I bounce over to the Great Wall of China. That might be cool to see. Uh, bing, 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 bing. Bouncing it around. Paris would be cool. Can I bounce to Paris? Yeah, I can. Where would you like to go? Just continue to bounce and carry that love with you. It's not just where it touches down. It's leaving a trail behind you. So everywhere you're going around the world, you're leaving like this dust trail of glitter and love. The Grand Canyon is beautiful. Let's go to the Grand Canyon for a few minutes. Wow. The Grand Canyon, you can bounce off of all kinds of surfaces in the Grand Canyon. It's amazing and it's so huge. So you're just bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Keep doing it. You do your own bing, bings or boings, whatever you'd like to do. I can see you all just bouncing all over the planet. Antarctica, that sounds cool. Let's bounce to Antarctica. <coughs> it sounds cold, actually. <laughs> it's okay. We don't get cold in our bubbles. Take a big breath. Lots of healing energy filling us right now. The angels are so present. Wrapping you up in protection. Wrapping you up in love. Letting you know that you're always okay. You're always okay. You can go anywhere you like. Use your energy to bounce all over the planet. And while you're doing it, they're filling you. They're filling you with love and healing. Hmm. Earth is saying thank you. I felt her gratitude. It's just like, ah, oh, thank you for sharing your energy with me. Beautifully done. As you start to get tired, if you're not tired, keep bouncing. We've still got some time. Just keep enjoying yourself. I hope some of you bounce over here to my mountains with me. These mountains are so beautiful. We can bounce all over the place. Just enjoy them. Enjoy those ancient rocks. Boing, boing, boing. We have caves. Caves of wonder. You can stop for a few minutes. Park your bubble if you'd like. Go into the cave and see what you can find. It's all your adventure. You get to do whatever you like. I'd like for all of you to bounce your bounce yourselves right here with me. I'd love to spend time with all of you. Keep breathing. If you lose your focus, go back to breathing. Just go back to breathing. Nice. Just breathe. Those lungs, they need all this healthy healing energy that's flowing right now. So take a big breath. Pull it in. Pull it in. If you're not feeling so good, if, you're, if you want some protection from this COVID and all this fear, take a big breath right now. And a little bit more. Mm. <sighs> Nice. I love all that healing energy. Feels so good. When you're ready, when you're ready, when you start to feel tired, because it does get tiring bouncing all over the world, come on back, come on back, bring your little bubble right back to me. I want you to imagine yourself pulling that bubble right back into your heart. Take a big breath. We're asking Archangel Michael to come in with each one of you, clearing away any, anything, any negative energy, keeping you free of attachments, allowing you to keep that beautiful bubble around you, a bubble of protection, so that you're not affected by the lower vibrations of the planet. So you can't be 
You won't get so stuck in all of these 3D things that are going on. Listening. So much love. Hmm. It's like they're taking this big, beautiful... Do you know what it feels like? <clears throat> You've been working really hard, and it's cold, and you come in from the cold, <clears throat> excuse me, and someone shows up, someone's there for you, always there, waiting, and they bring a, a warm blanket, and they bring you a cup of tea, and you just sit down in front of the fireplace. That's the sense that I get right now. They're thanking you for being here on this planet, for going through all of this suffering, for going through all of these things that you've been going through. They're grateful to you for doing this, for being here, just being here, allowing your energy to heal the planet. So we're grateful to the angels, and they're grateful to us. It's a perfect exchange. It's like the trees. The trees take our carbon dioxide and turn it into oxygen. The angels, we work hand in hand with them. We're not just these, we think of them as being so powerful and like, oh, I can't ask them for help. And they're like, no, we're a team here. <laughs> Please, we're a team. We need you. We need you to be physically present, to bring this physical energy into the planet. And we are here to help you. And all you've got to do is ask. Just reach for us and we're always here. That's your message this morning. We're always here, no matter how scary things get, no matter how difficult life becomes, no matter what is going on in your world, please know, please know that your angels are always, always, always there for you. Just ask. Just ask for help. Just ask for peace. Ask them to help you to let go of your worries and concerns. Ask them to help you sleep at night. Ask them to help you focus better. Ask. Just ask. That's all they want you to do. Please remember we're here. <laughs> the guides are like, please wake up. Let go of that amnesia and know that we are here always for you. Always. Take a big breath. One more. One more. And feel yourself all wrapped up in love today. Ah, you are so loved. If you could only feel all that love, just allow yourself. Allow it. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. No more holding back. You have... An abundance of love that's that can never be measured. There's no measure. There's no counting. You don't have to count it. You don't have to measure it. You don't have to qualify. You don't have to do anything. It is just yours for the taking. Always for the receiving. Receive. Let yourself receive love today. I love you guys so much. What is today? Today's Thursday. <laughs> I think I'm here at four o'clock. I think John's gonna be here at four o'clock. We're gonna see, we're gonna do creation to connection at 4 p.m. today and then we'll kind of set you guys up for your new year and we'll be off doing our little thing celebrating and then we'll be back we'll see maybe I'll pop in tomorrow it's Friday I think I'll pop in on the buyer store for Institute tomorrow so we'll see you guys have a beautiful beautiful day I love you so much let me see if anybody else popped in I don't want to miss you Isabella said, hi, Tammy Fisk, I just saw you. Good morning. Julie Kiss, good morning. Donna, good morning. <laughs> John's been very busy. Laura, good morning. Good morning, you guys. I love you so much. I hope to see you again later at 4 o'clock. Take good care of yourselves today. Just be easy. Just be. Be in love. It's the best, it's the best state. Just be in love today. Love you. Love everyone around you. Take good care. I'll talk to you soon.